Today, over at Turn, we launched two new products, the Tail Hitch L and the Bike Tow Kit. I had the good fortune of being able to test both of these products with my job at Turn, and I wanted to share some of the tips and tricks I've learned along the way and answering the frequently asked questions I've been seeing this morning on social media. The Tail Hitch L is a bracket that attaches to the back of a Turn GSD Gen 2 cargo bike. It's going to extend the trailer hitch mounts away from the bike. Why? Well, as the Turn accessory team developed new accessories, like the storm box and folding sidekick double wide decks, they could interfere with the trailer mounting points and accessories. By moving the mounting points back, you won't experience this any longer. The Tail Hitch L also allows for a second accessory launch today, the bike tow kit. As a mom that has carried kids bikes and service bikes for my bike shop in various ways, I am thrilled to have a product specifically designed for this use. During testing, I towed my kids bike to school so they could ride home, my mountain bike to the trail, and even electric bikes to meet up with people so they could test ride them. Let's move on to talk about tips and covering some of those frequently asked questions I've been seeing on social. Here are some general tips for both products. Make sure your lock stand is serviced and working well. Anything you are towing from a trailer, cargo in the trailer, or your bike should be included in the formula of your bike's max gross vehicle weight. If it's not apparent, this removes the vertical standing feature of your GSD because that tail hitch is now sticking out the back. The quad struts and lock stand extenders are not required, but I really came to prefer using them when using a trailer or bike tow kit as it adds another layer of stability when the rear of the bike rocks backwards. Let's dive into tips specifically for the Tail Hitch L. This is designed for the GSD Gen 2. It will not work on the Gen 1 GSD or HSD or other bikes in the turn lineup. We do our best to make things backwards compatible. Unfortunately, this isn't one. The trailer and load should not exceed the max towing capacity of 60 kilos or 132 pounds. Moving on to bike tow kit tips. The max weight for a bike is 30 kilos or 66 pounds. It is not designed or safe for a passenger to ride on that towed behind bike. The bike tow kit will need to be set up for your unique fork for different widths and axle setups. The bike tow kit comes with a bunch of parts and very clear instructions to help you figure out what setup you need for your bike. There are four different towing tubes and three pairs of different towing tube ends. The towing tubes are gonna change the width and the towing tube ends are specifically to adapt different axle sizes. Personally, I started adding colored electrical tape to the ones I use the most to make swapping faster. I switched between a through axle fork for my mountain bike and the Turn HSD and quick release wheels for my kids bikes. This was pretty simple. It just required me to unbolt with a basic five millimeter Allen, the tow kit and switch the different tow tubes and towing tube ends that changed that inner diameter for the different axles and the width for my fork. I started just carrying around the directions and the bag of different tow tubes and ends in a little Ziploc bag, just so that I had them in case I needed to switch bikes or pick up my kid last minute from school. When towing an e-bike, I pulled the battery off the towed e-bike and put it in my pannier just to make that bike lighter and not so top heavy. On all my towed bikes, I added a rear light to the back of the bike. Just something quick and easy to clip on. And I probably will also add like a flappy reflective triangle or one of the pizza reflective strips. You don't want anything on the front of the towed bike, like a rack. This is in case you go down a ditch and the rear bike, the towed bike, rotates up. You don't want it to accidentally rotate into the back of your GSD. Practice. If it's not apparent, this is gonna change the handling of your bike. So try 
riding in a calm area without any passengers on your GSD to get used to it before adding a passenger or riding in traffic. I found that it rides beautifully, but you do need to understand your turning radius and watch for any ruts in the road that your wheel could drop down in, just like you would when you're riding a bike, but now you have the bike a few feet behind you. Backing up is a new skill to develop, especially in gravel. Use your GSD brakes to control the speed, making small changes, and if it just feels too cumbersome, maybe you just have a friend help with a rear toad bike if you're in a tight spot. Oh, and speaking of backing up, some of my early test rides, I strapped the front wheel of my toad bike to rest on the pedal against my frame. Well, this prevents you from being able to back up because pedals have to spin freely when you back up a bike. So keep your front wheel mounted securely somewhere else. You know, as a bike shop owner, this would have been my preferred way to drop off service bikes or demo bikes. As a mom, this is the best option I have seen to bring a kid's bike along with you. As a mountain biker, this is gonna allow me to bike to the local trails easier without having to get in the car. I absolutely love that our product team keeps developing these small accessories that will make a big impact on people being able to choose a bike over a car. Let me know if I missed anything or if you have any additional questions. If you found this video helpful, do me a huge favor and hit that like and subscribe button. And also make sure to go give Turn Bikes a follow and check out the video that I made for this launch. All right, until next time, stay well, stay good, and remember to bike more and worry less.